The uh, monitor, I'm uh, slowly plugging away at it. I got a, basically a few more uh, photo edge parts put on it, and then uh, basically the top will be done. And then um, I'll start the uh, turret, which uh, the uh, I call it the uh, tent housing uh, that goes on top of the turret. And it's uh, basically all these little photo edge parts here that go all the way around the uh, top of the turret. So that's uh hopefully I get that accomplished probably by the end of the week or at least started and i may go ahead and shoot it in a primer and uh that way you can actually see what you're doing and if there's any uh, mistakes or anything i can fix it as i go but hopefully i can uh, start the little tent thing on top of the turret by the end of the week and just slowly slowly get it done uh the b1 uh, it may look like it's in primer, but it's actually in uh, uh, dark gray, the uh, whatever the Air Force color uh, uses for uh, the B1s. I got it. I got it all sanded, got it all uh, uh, painted top and bottom, base coat, and then hopefully, I'm going to wait a day or two, let it dry, then I'm going to probably by the weekend go in and... Uh, uh, not weather it, but my deal is shading the way it look, the way I shade uh, airplanes. So at least it'll give us some uh, definition, give us some character, and it'll break up the monotony of the gray. And then after that, I can uh, shoot it with a clear coat and then uh, put some decals on. Really, not much painting I have to do is basically the uh, engines and uh, just a little bit of uh, uh, panel line detail, and that's pretty much it. And uh, I'll be ready to rock and roll. And I need to get it on stand too, which helps in uh, decal application because you don't have to uh, manhandle it. Uh, the Killer Shrew. Uh, I did get the uh, Shrew itself in primer after I washed it in soapy water. It just needs one more little uh, coat of primer and I'll be ready to uh, start painting him. And then hopefully today or tomorrow I'll be able to uh, get the base and the uh, nameplate and foot, get that uh, in primer because they're all washed and ready to go. Just need to uh, put them in primer and then we can just start painting. Uh, the Jolton Josie, I've been plugging along at this too. Plus I've also been uh, been moving models into the new storage shed. As you can tell, there ain't no kits uh, above the workbench. Hopefully, I can keep it that way and have uh, uh, everyone else's models on top of the workbench instead of my own. So, hopefully. But anyway, the Jolton Josie. I went back in and because uh, I don't remember where I left off. I uh, sanded everything. All I got to do is sand the uh, back here. I got to get that filled up. But I did get the uh, doors on and just some of the turrets still just plugging away at uh, just a few minute things and hopefully I like to get it painted at least by uh, at least started by the weekend here at least get the uh, aluminum coat on but I still got some uh, uh, tulip to do around the uh, canopy deals and just fill up the uh, gaps and everything got the uh, doors and landing gears on the uh, wings I did get them on both so I'll be able to paint the wings. Uh, one thing I did screw up on, and I forgot to put the uh, brace in when I put the fuselage together. And uh, I already had it all clamped up and everything, couldn't pull it apart, and I was like, huh, forgot that. So anyway, what I'm gonna do, and it's an easy fix, is I'm just gonna sand off uh, part of the detail, like right here, and then just fish it in. and. It'll work out just fine. These are, uh, you know, late 70s, uh, uh, you know, support beams, so there ain't much to it. Just uh, take a Dremel, sand that down, and uh, shove it in, and be good to go. Also, I may or may not, I haven't decided if I, what needs to be done and or uh, uh, how to build it, but I'm going to find out probably within a couple days, but... I may build this f uh, for someone. This is the uh, this is an original Renwall uh, visible dog. I don't know if I actually have to uh, just put it together and just uh, leave it like it is, or actually 
uh, paint the dog itself, you know, Putty and Sam, the, uh, 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 the kit itself. But anyway, I mean, it's a, it's an original. Very unique. I have one. It's a, uh, I have like a reissue one that's like from the, you know, 90s, 2000s maybe. But I have never seen an original Renwall uh, dog kit. Third scale, and I was looking at this earlier, and uh, they give you a parts uh, list because this came out in I think '59. And uh, look how much the base uh, cost: twenty cents. Excuse me, thirty cents. Nameplate a nickel. That's highway robbery back then. Look at that. But anyway, uh, this might be interesting to uh, do, so I'll keep everyone posted on this. I haven't decided uh, really if I'm, I'm going to do it yet or not, or if it needs to be done. So anyway, we may do the uh, visible dog. But anyway, that's what I got going on today. And we also have Tropical Storm Bill, which is kind of putting a damper on moving the models, but it gives me a couple days off to uh, uh, not move the models, but it does give me a few times, a few days to uh, get a lot accomplish on the uh, kids but uh, anyway i got the jolt and josie plugging away on the monitor we are primering the killer shrew and the b1 getting its uh pretty base coat so stay tuned for the next exciting episode